My name is Stephanie Babian and I'm from Texas. Before I began to pursue this license, I was working for Epic. I still work for uh, Epic now, and I was being a single mom. When this school first opened, I really wanted to go into the program, but I knew that they needed me in a different way for Epic and welding caught my eye. And so I went into welding and that just opened up a lot more doors for me. I saw that I'm really good with tools. I'm really good mechanically. I get it. And then I thought, man, one day I'll go through this program. You know, you, just, you always say that, I'm going to go through it. But we went to Women in Aviation this year and just being there, it was really geared towards mechanics. And just speaking to a lot of the women that are in the industry, they made me feel like I could do it. I guess I felt a little bit intimidated uh, to go pr progress into the program because I was intimidated of what might occur <laughs> um, after welding. You know, uh, it was very hard to get a job somewhere with that skill because um, it's male dominated. And so a lot of times um, there's a little bit of a barrier there. <laughs> but speaking to them, I thought, man, I could really have a career. And it's just amazing. Like it makes me feel like I can be part of something bigger than myself and actually be good at it. The type of aircraft that we work on here is mostly for general aviation. Uh, we have the 162 Skyhawks. We actually have a couple of military um, helicopters that we work on. So we have a lot of different, um, like a variety of aircraft and aircraft parts that we work on here, just so that we can get a really good grasp on what we're gonna be working on. So we do have fixed wing and we do have helicopters that we are working on at the school. I believe that it is so high, um, just because I think within like our society, I don't think it's been really harped on about the trades um, and being an aviation maintenance technician is a trade um, that hasn't really truly been, I guess, kind of glorified. A lot of times the pilots, I mean, it's, you know, wow. Uh, but a lot of times like, the AMPs or um, electricians, HVAC techs, we don't really think about that. We don't really think about that career path. I know that I was never introduced to any trades. Uh, I was always told, you need to go to college, you need to get your degree, and then you're gonna get a great job and you're gonna make lots of money. Um, and you know, it's just not for everyone because you can make lots of money um, with a degree or you know, with going into a trade. And I think that kind of like fell away to the wayside and the current individuals that are within the industry, a lot of them are retiring out, especially after COVID and a lot of them are about to retire. And so now we're left with very new AMTs coming into the industry. And I think a lot has to do with the way that the job is presented to people. People are presented with a job like, oh, it's hot, it's long hours, you're gonna be working overnight, you're gonna be barely making any money. But that's just not the case. That really isn't the case. Um, that could be the case, just depending on where you're at or where you live or like what you accept as your job, as your life. Um, but if, you, if you're gonna want more, then there's definitely the opportunity to really make this like, a career where you're making very good money.